What's up, my fellow Michiganians, Michiganders, whatever you happen to call yourselves? Welcome to Wolverine State Sports Talk. And before we begin this preview video today, let me ask you all to do your man a favor. Hit the like button below and hit the subscribe button. And I really appreciate all your views and all your subscriptions over the past couple weeks. Uh, you all seem to like to hear me complain about it when my teams lose. Uh, after the Michigan State video, I got a lot of views and a lot of comments. So if you take pleasure in that, hey, I'll take any viewers or subscribers I can get. So thank you all for your support. I want to get to the century mark and subscribers by the end of this month. And thank you all for helping me make that a realistic goal. So tonight, the Detroit Red Wings take on the Edmonton Oilers. And thankfully, the game will be in Detroit. <laughs> we don't need another game in Canada. We need Bertuzzi to play. So Bertuzzi and Larkin will be playing. And thank goodness, because this Oilers team is stacked. So Edmonton comes in at 9-1. and one, And they have two of the best players in the game in Connor McDavid, Leandro Zidal, number one and number two in points in the NHL right now. They've been... A dominant duo for years. Uh, it kind of feels like this Oilers team is finally starting to live up to its potential. Uh, will, that, will they do that during the postseason? Don't know, but one thing we do know, this team during the regular season is very scary, and there's a lot more than just those two on this team in terms of forward depth, so the Red Wings are going to have their hands full tonight. But I will say this, I don't think this Oilers team is very good defensively. Uh, they have had one guy step up. Evan Bouchard was expected to be a third liner this year, but he's gotten lots of minutes, and he's performed pretty well. But outside of that, uh, the Corsi percentages of these defensemen is probably a little bit inflated, a lot of the stats as well. And if you don't know what Corsi is, uh, click on the link below. It has the description of it. But McDavid and Drazidal should be taking tons of shots on goal because they're two of the best forwards in the game. And yet, you look at this Oilers team, they get out shot almost every game. They give up a lot of grade A scoring opportunities, uh, some of the most in the league, actually. So I think that's where the Red Wings will have their best opportunity tonight. But the funny thing about this Oilers team is, despite the fact that they give up a lot of high-danger chances, they don't give up a lot of goals, and that's a big credit to their goaltending. Uh, you look at Mike Smith. He's been terrific this year. That was a great pickup. Uh, Miko Koskinen also has been terrific. They both have a 92 save percentage. So when you consider the fact that they face a lot of grade A scoring chances, They've done a great job, and this is going to be the big challenge for the Red Wings tonight. Can they get the puck past these guys? Because they're going to get their opportunities. They're going to get their high-percentage looks, but they're going to have to bury them. And Raymond and uh, Larkin and Bertuzzi, they're going to have to step up. So as for my prediction, I'm going to go Oilers 5, Red Wings 3 in a shootout. Or not not a shootout, but a very, very high-scoring game. I, I forget this is hockey and shootouts are, you know, what comes after overtime. I'm, I'm talking about a high-scoring affair is basically what I mean. But um, uh, the Red Wings probably won't win this game tonight as the Oilers are just going to overmatch them offensively. Uh, the Red Wings just don't have the depth defensively. DeKaiser hasn't stepped up the way we wanted him to. But I will say this. Things are looking up for this Red Wings team. And I think now that you got Larkin back, you got Bertuzzi back, um, there's a lot to like going forward. And this team does not play a game in Canada until February. And by that point, Verona may be back. So if Bertuzzi misses the next game against Toronto in February, Verona might be back, and that will kind of help offset his loss. So this this team has a lot going for it, and there's some easier games ahead. The Red Wings should be able to win a lot of them, but tonight, if they win tonight, I would be very surprised, and this would be a steal. I'm going to go Oilers 5, Red Wings 3. Just Sider is just going to have to do too much, and he can't play all 60 minutes. So that's what I'll say. All right. Thank you all for watching. Red Wings play at 7.30 tonight. Make sure to check it out. And I'll make sure to upload a post-game video after this as well. You all have a good night. See you in a few.